Hello, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I look like the giant. Um, I know I, my head's getting cut off here a little bit. I'm sitting inside a different room. Just doing a little update video. Um, sorry if I look like a zombie. My eyes are probably black, the shot, and whatever. But I figured I didn't want to go the day without um, a couple of new things to talk about. Number one, I'm going to be doing my shows in a little bit of a different confined area. And one of my reasons, I think the reason why I don't do much of my updates is because I might run all the way into the living room, do my show, come back in here, update, blah, blah. Here it's just one shot. Boom, turn around, upload, and be done. So uh, to all the, the people of the uh, picks episodes, I apologize. I've not gotten some picks episodes uh, posted as well. My dad not very many uh, breakfast with Jeff's either. Um, a lot of things have been going on to sometimes get very distracted. It's been, you know, especially in the beginning of the month, I don't get the show started up right away. So that's kind of what's going on there. So. But I want to do an update video real quick, um, so I'd let you know why um, the uh, Breakfast of Jeff has not been happening, that show has not been on, and the pick show, especially the pick show, a lot of people like the pick show, and um, a lot of people actually, a lot of people in Blimp have been checking out picks as well, so and I know they're probably wondering why there wasn't an episode this week, and there wasn't an episode last week, well, um, Stay tuned for the new episode of Picks. I promise you we will have one coming up for this week. I guarantee that, and I will explain to you why I did not do the last two episodes of the show. And the reason why I'll explain it to you is because a lot of things have kind of went on, and I think um, when you're doing a web show, there's a lot of things that are going on. I'll explain to you guys that. So uh, stay tuned for that episode. Um, that's pretty much about it there. What? I better not be in your little videos. You no, know, because it's pointed this way. You over there. So that's what's going to be going on there. So um, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, for all the picks fan people, um, stay tuned. And for the, uh, you know, for the people of the update, you know, this is for all the rest of the people that don't watch and just wonder what's going on. So we'll be back. I think I'm losing my mind. Okay, we're back. We're doing a, we're gonna be doing a pick section here a little bit. Yeah, that was you. Um, I have a very considerate producer who always makes sure I get enough light because I don't like to be looking like Darth Vader. Luke, you are my brother, father. <laughs> it's but, Luke. I am your father. Well, I don't watch that damn thing. Don't so. be saying bad things about Star Wars because there's freakies out there that love him. Well. Speaking Eric, of Star Wars, there you go. Eric Foreman. So, um, no, getting the whole point of the video is to uh, talk about the picks and why I have not done two, it's been two weeks now I've not done the, the picks show. Because I hate the pack. Truthfully, and, you know, my producer just told me exactly the reason why I didn't do it. In the last few weeks, ever since the game between the Seattle Seahawks and the Big Packers, I've been really disgusted the way football has been handled. And instead of it getting any better, it got worse. And I'll explain this to you. When the Seattle game was played, they had the replacement referees. Referees were just simply calling the play according to the rules. Naturally, a lot of the big teams don't like that. They don't like that they're not calling the play. Why did they wait so long to show River Phoenix's last show? And that's a good question. But so the point of the matter is, I get disgusted, I figured, guess what? It's really hard for me to pick up, to go through a pick second and have to sit and deal with these people. So I didn't. I decided to quit and not even bother. Then next week, of course, the Packers take on another team. They get their wish. They get their replace, the replacement referees to go bye-bye so they can have a team, a bunch of referees that sit there and take 20 minutes to make a call. And if they make a call, they only make it to one team. They don't make it to both. So you can see why these teams want these guys back because they don't call plays. You know, you can see a pass interference, but they're, then they'll sit and complain, and then the referee will throw a fight after he complained and said, oh, he pushed me down. So, so I get a little disgusted. And here's where the last straw came in. There was a game between the Packers and it was the last game. I can't remember who they played. 
And I was very, I, I would, that pretty much was the last straw. The Packers playing a game. They're playing, I, I take that back, they were taking on the Atlanta Falcons. I think it was Atlanta Falcons, I can't remember. What the hell was the team they were playing? I can't remember. But they were playing a team that was undefeated. They had not lost the game all season long. Kind of ironic, they take on a team that's 3-3, three and three, can barely make it in their division. Kind of ironic, a 3-3 three and three team taking on an undefeated team. Now, here's what makes this strange. This is what makes me sick to my stomach. As the game starts off, okay, they're winning. They're just, the game is really, really close. Now, the t now, of course, they had to kick a field goal. Naturally, figures, okay, the Packers, if they kick a field goal, figure the odds that a guy would jump on top of another guy's back to try blocking the kick. Like, that really is going to happen. I mean, you really think for one minute that they're going to, and this is what gets me, is the, they don't call the play. They make sure they, now that he kicks the ball, he misses it, and then they call an offsides or illegal procedure, which is kind of ironic that he gets away with that. You know, oh my God, he all of a sudden jumped on top of this guy's back. Do you think that's really normal? Do you think that's normal this guy jumps on his back? I mean, Jesus Christ, it's like, you know, it, I, I, it happened with the Chicago Bears, and now it happens to them. They happen to lose this game because of these people. Now all of a sudden, next week, they go out and they play, and they beat them. They beat their team, and beat them big time. Let me explain something to you. The reason why I'm not doing the picks, I'm not saying I'm going to quit doing picks, because I'll tell you all my feelings on the games, but I will not put in games, because I don't feel, I mean, as long as the Packers are a team, an NFL team, as long as that little whip wad Aaron Rodgers is in there, I don't even want nothing to do with it. I don't want to sit there and have to push my stomach in to say, you know, teams like Chicago, teams like Green Bay. There's teams like Detroit Lions. I feel bad for them. They just cannot win a goddamn ball game, no matter how hard they try. So, I, I apologize to you. I'm upset. And I will not make a show and lie and say, oh yeah, this is terrific when the truth is, it's a crack of crap. I can't sit here and watch the Chicago Bears play and, you know, and these guys are so goddamn bad they can't put their third string quarterback in a championship game going for the Super Bowl. That's not normal. Just like it's not normal for a guy to climb, or climb on another guy's back to block a kick. That's not normal. And if you think it is, I think you're all screwed in the head. And then you guys play it off and you don't say anything about it like it's never happened. Well, I'm sorry, it did happen. This team lost the game because of some stupid idea like that. Because the team has to fight and scream and holler. They ain't gonna get into it. So the teams like Green Bay, the Green the teams like Chicago, all the teams that sit here and get away with this shit. I, I don't even stand it. All and all the NFL is nothing more than a soap opera. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna watch football. I'm just saying I'm not gonna believe that this is about athletics. I don't think it's about charisma. I don't think it's about being good at what you do. I consider it as a soap opera. Every single week, someone's going to win a game, and they're going to win it in some screwed up way. Because if you believe that all of a sudden a guy jumps on a guy's back, and that's, that's a normal thing, you're full of crap. If you think that... Oh, here's a little thing. If only people showed as much concern for the national debt as... As for NFL referees, our country may not be as screwed up as it is. Good point. So the point I'm trying to say is, people, like I said, teams like Green Bay, the teams like Chicago, these big teams that get away with this shit makes me sick to my stomach. And it makes me sick to my stomach because I'm a fan of football. But I'm not, I like teams like the you know, Cleveland Browns, the Oakland Raiders, I like teams like the Detroit Lions because you know what? They're teams that try very, very hard and just can't get nowhere. And then you got these teams like then you got teams like Green Bay and Dallas and all them who sit here and cheat or lie or screw or manipulate the teams. And every year, every week it's the same damn. There's a storyline somewhere. So what's the foundation of, of the pitch show? Truthfully, it's about the storyline of the game. 
storyline of the game. There's always going to be a story every week. This week, this week the big storyline is the NFL. The big storyline is is who's the good team this week. You know, who was it? What this week? What are the Green Bay Packers going to do to make themselves look even more bullshit? Because if you can sit there and take a victory from somebody who does something not normal, then you guys are a bunch, bunch, bunch of losers. You know, if you guys think that that you guys have, have missed a big cool shot, I don't think so. You praise up Aaron Rodgers. You know what? As long as somebody, the other team keeps screwing up, you're going to look good. So, there will be a storyline this week. There's going to be a game that's going to attract attention this week. So, NFL is more like a soap opera. Always some drama. You know, Green Bay Packers are like the, like, like the young and the restless. Clay Matthews and Aaron Rodgers. Kind of like Phyllis and Nicholas. They're kind of the same thing. They cry to each other about how their life is all messed up. Or how they, how they, or why can't you hang on to the ball? Probably because you suck donkey shit, that's why. You know, and that's why the NFL is not what it is. And that's why I do what I do. I, I meant it, I do what I do. And I'm sorry if you people don't like it, but that's how, I'm not going to lie to you and play games and manipulate you. I'm going to tell you the way things are. So, that's all I can say about that. So, I mean, I can go on about that. So, since, uh, since my pick segment's turned around in a complete circle, you wonder what the foundation of the show is going to be. Well, basically, it's going to be like this. I'm just going to kind of tell you updates. I'm going to tell you what I think, tell you how I feel. And we'll go from there. And uh, I want to say to all my uh, viewers, all the people that actually do view my viewers, my videos, I appreciate it. I know a lot of people on Blip, you know, they go out and they view it right away, and I appreciate that. Um, but I think on the purpose of stuff, just because of the way the NFL has been played, ever since the referees come back, I cannot seriously sit here and give you predict, predicts, predictions of these games. I just can't do it. So, I apologize to the people that do watch, listen and watch my videos. I know you expect me to be biased and say, hey, this is what's going to happen. But if I was to do that, I mean, you got to look at it this way. A guy jumping on a guy's back, that's not that's not normal. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not normal. Why all of a sudden when the, when the when they play, and I think it's the Houston Texans, but figure the odds. Why in the world would a guy jump on a guy's back? I mean, seriously. What, figure the odds of that happening. And why did that all of a sudden happen when they played the Packers? All the teams they played, they never do this until now? Why is it all of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden the Chicago Bears put a third-string quarterback in the championship game going for the Super Bowl? Putting in a backup running back, backup, backup defensive lineman. Why would you do that in the most important game there is? And it just happens to be against the Green Bay Packers. It seems to me that more games they play the more they get kissed ass all the time. And I would be lying if I sit here and say, oh yeah, I, I love to watch your stuff. You know, it makes me sick to watch people lying, cheating, and stealing. I don't like it. I don't like hearing about one person. You know, it's a team effort. You know what? A quarterback would be nothing but crap if, if they didn't do what they did. That's all I'm trying to say. So, the aspects of the, aspects of the show... I will basically just talk pretty much about whatever's going on. Simple as that. Um, that's as far as that goes. Um, I, get, I just cannot seriously think about doing stuff like that. So, that's as far as that goes. So, a uh, couple things that are on update here just to let you know as you see I'm in a little different area. I haven't done the shows in a couple times because of because I'll be right of how things are. Like I said, usually I have to get the thing uploaded right away and get it going. And it's easier to just turn around and do that than it is to have to go in, run into the studio, make the make the video, run all the way back in here, do this, go back on the back again. It's just too much work. So that's why I'm doing this new studio, this new area here. Um, 
Yeah, I am in a different area as you can tell. Usually I'm over on the other side of the room. Actually, I moved to this side of the room. So actually where I'm sitting is where my producer used to sit. And the producer is sitting where I sit. So, so it's kind of nice. So that's how that works. But, um, but that's the situation about the whole picks thing. So as long as the Green Bay Packers are going to continue to play like this and they're continuing to have teams just go out and totally screw up and kiss their ass and give them the game, I will not in my right mind accept that. I can't do it. And I understand there's a lot, a lot of good teams out there like Oakland Raiders and the Denver Broncos and New York Jets maybe even. But as long as there's a Packer team, I can't accept it. I can't get a stomach to say, oh yeah, that's great. So that's as far as that goes. Um, I think that's pretty much about the, excuse me, sorry. But that's pretty much it for this uh, video, for this episode. I wanted to get this put up and I wanted to say uh, thank you to all my viewers, people that do watch it, thank you. I know a lot of you, when you see the uh, icon of the NFL, I'm sure you're going to watch it and you know, expect me to talk about the games and, and here I'm not talking about them, so. But I think I want you to understand the aspects of the show because I don't want to, uh, you to say, well, what's going on? What's going on? Well, what's going on is I'm not going to deal with the drama. So that's what's going to happen there. So uh, simple as this. To recap, all the people that are, are picks fans, I'm not going to be doing, uh, not going to give my predictions anymore. Um, the show will be basically about talking about the NFL, what's the storyline, how I feel about things, how the games went, what the good games and the bad games. You know, that's pretty much what it will be all about. Um, yeah, I think I didn't want to go throughout the day without saying, you know, telling you that as well. So that's as far as that goes. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. I want to say thank you to all my viewers, people that do watch. Thank you. Sponsors, of course, how we screen make would be a sponsor. Mountain Dew, official soft drink for my shows. Um, my producer, of course, I always thank my producer. Um, she always makes sure I get everything set up, nice lighting, and, you know, make sure everything works properly, and, you know, now maybe I can make you hire as a writer. She can give me some material, so, you know, and all that stuff. So, who knows? But, um, but other aspects of that, this is the update video. Um, so, it'll just be called uh, Picks Update Video. So, update, which, which the update means to let you know what's going on, why I haven't done the show in the last two, three, two couple weeks. So, I apologize to all my good viewers. I apologize I didn't get that done. Um, Yes, I am not in my white in my Viking gear. The reason why I haven't haven't done that is, like I said, it's not Sunday yet. Sunday is my Viking gear. Um, well, since we're talking about the Vikings, Vikings kind of starting to suck too. You know, it's amazing. I was watching them. You know, they they didn't use Percy Harvin. They didn't use, you know, um, they didn't use much of it, uh, Adrian Peterson. And I think the problem with them is you start playing them, and then you stop playing them, and then you play them. And I noticed that, you know, Adrian Peterson runs a 64-yard touchdown run, and then you just don't even go to him again. I mean, one, one, no wonder you guys didn't win, because you guys kept scrolling around. You have two superstar players on your team, and you don't even use them. Understand, if you have them and they're available, use them. This is a crucial, crucial time now. You play two good games. Two big games. And, what, and you know what? The big game coming up is you're going to get a week off, and then you play against the Bears. And how important is that? Well, that's first place on the line. If you can win the two games before that, then guess what? This is going to be a very interesting game coming when you play the Chicago Bears. I believe you play them at home, so you have no reason why you shouldn't beat them. One, Jay Cutler's a doofus. He can't play football. He's not good. The only reason why they're winning is because their defense is kissing their ass. That's why. You just stop their defense, you stop you stop them. Simple as that. But I'm not going to get too much into that either because it's ridiculous. So, um, that's kind of what's going on there. So, yeah, Sunday, like I said, I'll be in my Viking gear. We'll do a, another update video. So, it will be called, um, it'll be called, um, so we'll have a special episode to make up for everything. It will happen, it will be aired on Sunday night. I'm going to record the show on Saturday, and then I'll have it uploaded and ready for you guys to watch 
on Sunday morning, so you'll be able to watch it before the games. Okay, this is going to be updated. I'm going to talk something. I will be in my Viking gear. And Vikings, I believe, play on the road, so I will be in my Viking away jersey. So we'll keep up to date with all that stuff. And you can sit down and relax. Uh, we'll get through all the stuff, talk about some of the big storylines as well. Once again, a programming note on, on, on Sunday morning, there'll be a new episode of Picks, which will be basically on a Saturday. It'll be recorded on Saturday, posted on Sunday, so you can check that out. And that will kind of be a makeup video for missing a couple of weeks. I know a lot of you, you know, wonder where they go and what's all that stuff. So, so that will be coming. Also, extra footage. Also, be uh, doing a bitching out video. So, um, just want to warn you, people not know what that is, that is a graphic video, it's not for kids, it's not for children, so, so when you do watch that, it will be posted as well along with the, the, uh, pics video, so that will be also aired on Sunday morning as well, so you can check that out. So go to, like I said, anytime you can check it on Facebook and all that stuff. Also, I will be posting new stuff on Facebook, so, or not Facebook, but YouTube. So if you're a YouTube user, you know, that's not a problem. You can check that out as well. So those will be posted as well. So we're going to try keeping this up. So what we'll do is we'll be doing those videos. Remember, there will be, um, uh, you can be able to check those out anytime you want. So I'm going to get going because I got a lot of stuff I want to get done. Plus, I want to be able to get ready for the um, show, which will be happening on on Sunday. So I'm going to get that out to you as well. So for everybody, thank you for watching the show. I appreciate it. And I'll see you. Uh, well, I, don't forget to check out Picks and Bitching Out on, on Saturday, on Sunday morning. Excuse me, Sunday morning. Until then, everybody, thank you so much.